Cage bird sings. Cage bird sings. As the fur dreams swing like strange fruit wrapped in a burning southern flag of a hot summer night. Southern flag. Genetic inferiority sullies the air and breeds a hostile contempt for anyone not Christian and white. The rotting stench for co-opted culture and unprotected youth with lies become the truth at the send of a tweet and black bodies are up for grabs wherever fear and hate meet. The strong hate the weak and I try not to hate the meek who turn a blind eye to the lives lost at the cost of white supremacy pride. And as godly as I try to be, I realize that it's hard for my eyes to see the God in those who refuse to see the God in me. And yet I still try to search for the God in those who chose misogyny and hate as tools to make America great. Put around the scapegoat than face that instead of being preoccupied with someone else's sexual preference and race, we need to stand tall and unite against the powers that be that are invidiously oppressing us all. My eyes open wide, I feel blind, you can't see me. I open my mouth and I scream, you can't hear me. Fight with justice, can't trust this, my heart, I stand bleeding. You cut out my tongue and I swear you can't hear me. Angry, I'm confused, I'm emotionally ripped. Being black and Latino, the polarization so split. While my black next to kin are being shot dead in the street. While my fellow Latinos for deportation and we feed into the fear that the media delivers. While my ancestors cry and my sons and daughters shiver. Will my family be torn apart by America's new policy with their names to be spray painted on a border wall in calligraphy? Latinos are the backbone of American industry. In corporate America, I feel the resentment habitually. This perversion of hate, these American disgraces. The other day, I saw my five and my eight-year-olds try and scrub the brown up their faces. The hate crimes, the symbols, the bullying that they're facing. Go back to your country. We hate you niggers, spick faces. And as a terrified father, I have no consolation to explain the anger that's perpetuated in our nation. And I try to do us right and stand tall so you can see me. But it's gotten to the point I'm gonna, gonna scream because you can't hear me. My eyes open wide, I feel blind, you can't see me. I open my mouth and I scream, you can't hear me. Fight for justice, can't trust this. My heart, I stand bleeding. You cut out my tongue and I swear you can't hear me. And build more prisons just to house more children. Lock them up as juveniles, indoctrinate them to the system. There was this 16-year-old boy who was locked up. He never talked, but he wrote me a poem about the locks on children trying to grow into God. There's a light out in the kitchen. His mother washes dishes in the dark. I got knots in my wings. He's got walls in between himself and his family now. The news doesn't bother now. They put black face on children they painted as thugs. They're still building more prisons for profit. His pencil writes poetry that sounds like his dead brother's screams. They want to lock your mother's sons and your children's fathers away. Let me go! And how many terabytes is the capacity of the hard drive that stores the body camera footage of a society of citizen soldiers sent to meet the quotas of privatized prisons whose customers are our children? My eyes open wide, I feel blind, you can't see me. I open my mouth and I scream, you can't hear me. Fight for justice, can't trust this, my heart, I stand bleeding. You cut out my tongue and I swear you can't hear me. So you can see me. I'm crying aside, and I pray that you can hear me. Together we stand tall, seeking true liberty and real justice for all. I hear you. I see you. We're all in pain. Will you hear me? <laughs> 